Hey everybody, welcome back to the Working Man's Whiskey. I'm Bobby. Uh, just got in the door from work about 10-15 uh, minutes ago. Uh, went to the store on my way home, uh, picked some dinner up, and uh, guys, every time I go to the store, just about every time I go, um, I like to walk down the uh, liquor aisle to see if they have anything that I haven't seen before. Uh, something that I'm familiar with that uh, I just haven't reviewed yet. And then uh, this one right here is a total mystery to me. Um, I've never seen this before. I've never heard of it before. It's called Speckled Tail uh, American Whiskey. Um, I tried to do some research right there in the store. I pulled it up on the internet or tried to. Couldn't find a thing. So kind of hoping that you guys might be able to help me out here. I know I'm usually telling you guys backstories on different whiskeys that I review, uh, but I've got nothing to tell you guys uh, you know, tonight about this one. Um, so please, uh, if you guys know anything, feedback's appreciated. Uh, I, I can tell you that this is bottled by Speckled Tail Distillers in Auburndale, Florida. And uh, I like the bottle. I mean, it was kind of a simple bottle, but uh, I don't know, it caught my attention. It's got a, got a little feather and a couple of American flags at the bottom. And uh, it just says, made in USA, 40% alcohol by volume, 80 proof. Uh, the back says, speckled tail American whiskey is crafted using uh, tried and true recipes that date back to the late 1800s. Distilled and aged with care in American oak barrels, our whiskey embodies the freedom of the frontier. So I kind of like that, guys. I mean, that's, you know, if they're using some old school recipes from uh, way back when. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of like that. Um, I don't know if this whiskey's a, close to a bourbon or more of a um, blended whiskey. Um, I, I don't know anything about this one, you know. And, of course, as you can see, I haven't even opened it yet. So I uh, want to do that. And uh, see what we have here, guys. And uh, guys, this is kind of what this uh, channel is about, at least in part. You know, it's sometimes we see whiskeys that we're familiar with, and you know, at a good price, and uh, you know, try them out or you know, have them again and again. But sometimes, if you see something that you've never seen before, and uh, it's a decent price, this is fifteen bucks. Uh, try it out, you know, I mean, you got nothing to lose, and, you know, if it's, if it's not good, you know, we won't get it again, I guess, but, uh, you know, you might find a diamond in the rough, who knows, um, but uh, I thought it was worth the shot, definitely, and, uh, guys, I, it's funny, because uh, I finally, um, not to brag or anything, but I finally, uh, after all these years, was able to try uh, Pappy Van Winkle 23 year family reserve. I went to a, a bar in Pataluma uh, here in Sonoma County, as you guys might know by now. Uh, but I went to uh, this bar called uh, Jameson's Roaring Donkey. And uh, the bartender uh, was also the bar owner, a guy named Brian, um, really nice guy. He's actually one of my sister's uh, best friend's uh, boyfriends. So, uh, Anyway, it's uh, I went in there and and you know we we're having a good night. Just you know, he saw me drinking whiskey and and uh, turns around and says, "You know, I got something for you." Goes over behind the bar and uh, I couldn't believe when he picked that bottle up. Uh, and oh, I mean, it was everything. Yeah, you know, I was hoping for. I've gotta say, but uh, I was drinking it and you know what? It's it was a great whiskey. It was. But I've had great whiskeys that, you know, aren't nearly that expensive, you know. And I, I'm i more of a, you know, working man's whiskey kind of guy, a bargain whiskey kind of guy. Um, you know, I was drinking that stuff, the Pappies, and uh, as as great as it was, you know, I that'll probably be the only time I ever try it. Unless it's, you know, uh, given to me for free again. Uh, I'm not, you know, I would never expect that, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm perfectly happy, um, buying whiskeys like this that you see in front of me, 
Um, I don't know anything about this, and I kind of like the mystery, guys, um, to be honest with you. Uh, it's it just, uh, that's part of what I love about this, is finding, uh, just finding great whiskeys at a, at a bargain price, at a value price, and, uh, you know, it's more exciting to me than drinking something that I know is going to be great, you know, I kind of like that mystery with, uh, with different kinds of whiskey, so. Anyway, on to the review. Uh, this uh, this whiskey is actually a fairly um, dark color. I don't know, of course, um, how old it is. It doesn't give an age statement, but uh, you know, it's a, a nice kind of medium amber color there. Let's give it a nose. And on the nose, guys, it I'd say it has more of a more of a bourbon profile than a, um, you know, more than a blended whiskey profile. It's got a, definitely got some sweet notes in it. Got some, uh, some a little bit of corn sweetness, not overpoweringly uh, corn, but yeah, not overpowering, but uh, it's, it does have some sweetness. Uh, a little bit of caramel in there. Definitely a little bit of barrel char. So a little bit of vanilla in there. Let's try this one out, guys. Definitely a bourbon profile to it. Um, you got the sweetness in there. You got a little bit of wood in there, and you got a little bit of spice in there, too. And I get that vanilla again. Let me uh, take another sip. This is a good whiskey. Another good whiskey. And I'm pleasantly surprised. I mean, I really didn't. Didn't know if I was going to be getting another bargain or some rock gut, you know, but this is a really good whiskey. I like this a lot. I wish I knew something about it. Um, I was like having these fun little uh, factoids about different whiskey. But uh, yeah, there's nothing wrong at all with this whiskey. It's very, very good. As I said, it was 15 bucks. And uh, it's just, it's got a nice balance, you know, sweetness and a little bit of spice. Uh, a little bit of wood, um, and uh, I like this one a lot. I really do, and I'm glad I you know took the gamble. And uh, I hope you guys will go out and take a gamble every now and then. See if uh, something you never heard of was is any good. If not, then uh, just don't buy it, you know. But uh, really, nothing to lose for 15 bucks, um, and I feel like I scored with this one, so. Um, as for a rating, I would give this one a solid 85 for sure. Uh, solid B. Um, nothing wrong with this. I mean, if you want to say anything about it, it's a little, uh, one dimensional, you know, but, um, that's not a bad thing to me. I mean, I like a consistent, uh, bourbon taste, you know, I like something that's sweet, uh, Something, you know, not too sweet. Nothing like, um, you know, most of the uh, most of the flavored whiskeys out there. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I like a little bit of sweetness. Uh, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of wood in there. And uh, I like the spice. You guys know I love rye. So, this, this one has all of those things. And uh, that's good enough for me, guys. So, uh, hopefully... Uh, you guys have some uh, ideas for me? Um, I know I said I was going to do uh, the uh, Old Smoky um, Moonshine, the uh, White Lightning, and the Blackberry one, but um, unfortunately, I, uh, well, fortunately, actually, I should say, uh, I found this one and wanted to sneak it in. So um, we'll do that one next time. And uh, if you guys have any other ideas, feel free to let me know and. Look forward to talking to you guys soon. Until next time, cheers.